what's up guys in this tutorial I'm going to extend my application to have Facebook login I'm going to use the Laravel package socialite to integrate Facebook login and for that there are few re prerequisites which we will have to build in this first video and then I'm going to get into the hardcore programming part for the integration now the first thing which you need to do is go to developers.facebook.com and create an app now obviously one disclaimer this website changes very frequently uh, as far as the UI and you know the design is concerned any new API they generally changed the design so uh, you know if you're looking at this video after some time maybe you will see a different interface so figure it out most of the things are generally available here and there so first thing is add a new app now this is where we need to choose whether it's an android ios we have a website so i'll click this www all right and once that is done it asks me whether i want to integrate with an integ with an existing one which i don't want or i'll say my wall demo and it will create a new app there are some default settings I'll rather keep it no uh, give my email ID so yes fine uh, okay it requires a category as well I think um, fine entertainment is good enough okay and okay we have a captcha here now uh, let me quickly fix that so yeah flowers 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 um, that should do okay yeah so the app is created I am on the first step this is our app ID but this one is an important thing you have to tell the URL of your application this is where the redirect will work I am working with my wall dot app which is set up on Laravel as homestead so yeah I'll add this URL hit next and now you know I'm on the test section of the step which means you know I can now skip this and yeah I'm here so I have the app ID and I have the app secret you know I can do show and get that app secret and these are the two things along with the redirect URL which is required in the application for the login to work now let's go back to a code see here is the environment file where I will add those keys and set the values of the Facebook app ID secret and the redirect URL so I'll, something like FB app ID now this is the example.env file I have the env file where the actual things are set up which I'm not going to show you obviously um, and once done we have to go into the uh, sorry it's not the settings but the service.php and we will have to set up a Facebook key here with those particular environment variables as you can see the stripe is already you know, added so let us quickly add Facebook okay it will be an array the first one is client ID let us name it Facebook underscore client underscore ID okay And the second one is client secret and then the last one is the direct URL let us call it callback underscore URL okay yeah that's what it is and you know let me add it to the example file so that you know later on when I push it to production I'll have these reference points uh, we can keep it like x x x x x and yeah so yeah 
I have the actual environment file with these keys obviously and uh, you know the next thing which we need to do is add the package you can find it on the socialite uh, website I have it already copied so I'll just add it here okay and then the only thing which I need to do is basically a composer update and I will get that laravel slash socialite package now once that is done one thing which we need to do is add a few fields in our user table so that I can track the source of user and you know his social account ID so if he is a Facebook user I will track him by a type called Facebook and I will keep his Facebook ID so that I can later on verify whether you know that particular user exists in my database or I have to create an account for him so that he can actually log in to my application so what we are going to do is add those two columns both will be strings so so yeah I'll have default which is normal so that all accounts where I don't have any value they will be normal accounts the normal signups and then the second column will be the SNS ID okay which I'm keeping as a string right now because I'm not sure if some other site has something else other than integers so you know I'm trying to keep it flexible well yeah so you know the composer is done I will run the migrations and once that is done what I will do is add those fields in my user.php the model so that I can use the create function to add a new entry to the database so yeah first name let me quickly add them all right so all the fields are done and you know uh, basically the user.php is now ready and so the next thing is the service which is also you know configured so let me go to the stripe section and you can see you know click on social authentication will take me to the github page and yeah so these are the providers which i'll need to add to app.php so i'll quickly open it up and I have my contributor service providers and the facade should be added here okay so you know all the steps are done to you know include the package let me quickly refresh and see if you know everything is working correctly it is working so it basically means the package is getting loaded and you know everything is working fine till now so yeah that's about it that's how you know i have done this setup and we have things ready to create the login of facebook in our next video